Hey, can I ask you a question? How much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice, I'm Tom, how's it going? I think pickup lines are more of a form of like a joke rather than an effective way to pick up women. But I think you really do have to appreciate the art form and the effort that goes into pickup lines because it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And what I have here on my trusty little laptop is what the internet has guaranteed me to be the most effective and the funniest pickup lines ever. And the internet hasn't lied to me yet, so let's look through them together, shall we? Are those space pants? Because that ass is out of this world. I think that line would work a lot better if I said it as a sassy black woman. My love for you is like diarrhea, I just can't hold it. That's... That's not a nice thing to say to someone you've just met. That's, that's one of the topics you leave to at least the third date. At least the third date. Was that an earthquake? Or did you just rock my world? Ooh. I think that's the feeling you get with a lot of pickup lines. It's just like a ooh. Ooh, it's like a slow car crash. It's, it's terrible, but you can't look away. Are you a magnet? Because I'm attracted to you. I think that's too easy, that one. That, that's, that one's too easy and not nearly dirty enough. <laughs> this is a good one. Now, if you know anything about me, I'm a huge fan of puns. So if anybody ever came up to me and said, do you have any raisins? I replied, no, and then they come back with, how about a date? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, I'm here. What are your other two wishes? I love you like pigs love not being bacon. That's cute. So you know, I thought I'd write a couple of pickup lines. Cause you know, if you want to be a musician, you've got to practice a musical instrument. If you want to be a sportsman, you've got to practice a sport. If you want to write pickup lines, you've got to start somewhere. Excuse me, do you ball so hard? Cause mother you was fine. Come on, come on, it took me all day to think of that, come on! Is that my little uh, Job impersonation there? All you AD fans? So when I saw The Avengers the other day, that's a good movie. If you haven't seen The Avengers already, what are you doing? Seriously, stop watch, go now. It's like, you could probably make the 130 session if you leave now. But yeah, it was a fantastic movie. Only one slight drawback was the fact that it cost $22 to go and see it. To be fair, it probably was worth $22, but that's not the point. The point is that I could have gone and see it at an independent cinema for a reasonable price of around $11, which is fine by me, but $22. This is why I hate event cinema. They're money-grubbing, monopolistic whores, and I hate them. Like $22, seriously, do you know what I could buy for $22? Like two liters of petrol. It took me half a day to come up with that zinger. Half a day. Pulled it off. So you know what's trending on Twitter at the moment? YOLO. If you don't know what YOLO is, good on you. I, I have the utmost respect for you. Why? O L O hashtag stands for you only live once. Yeah, you only live once. Try telling that to my friend Sanji. Sanji's my cat. Who also happens to be a Buddhist. So not only does he believe in reincarnation, do I have to explain the joke to you, really? So the main problem that I have with the term YOLO, other than the fact that it sounds like a chocolate bar and is yelled exclusively by douchebags is the fact that it doesn't make sense. Surely if you only live once, you should be like overly cautious as to not ruin your life if you've only got like one shot. Well, I've had like three ecstasy pills already, but YOLO, I'll have another five. If you only live once, don't... Uh, uh. Mental breakdown on camera. Anyway, that's my little rant over about YOLO. Point in case, people are stupid and they don't know how to use words. Not you, I love you, you're fantastic, you're beautiful and you're smart and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.
I just realized that must have looked like the seediest smile ever. And so in this video, we've covered a lot of things. I think I may have hit a new low in terms of hitting on my camera in an empty room by myself. Let's be honest, that's not a good look. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will now play you out with my new hidden talent, beatboxing. Peace. <laughs> thanks for watching. Oh god, I can't see myself. I can't see myself. I start freaking out. Hi.